One of the most valuable lessons I can share with you when it comes to creating selections in Photoshop is that it is possible to mix and match a variety of selection tools and techniques as you build up to the final selection. Let me give you an example of what I mean. In this case, for example, I would like to create a selection of this taxi cab in the foreground. I can choose my quick selection tool and paint across the taxi in an effort to produce a good selection. But as you can see, no matter how careful I am, I'm not getting a perfect result. Now part of that is simply that I need to modify my selection. For example, the shadow here got included in the selection, so I can hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Macintosh and then paint across that shadow to remove it from the selection. This improves the result, but there's still some work to be done. If we zoom in over here, for example, we'll see that we're missing the mirror and a portion of the window. I'll reduce the brush size by pressing the left square bracket key and then paint over some of the areas of the window here, and that's improved the result, but it's created some additional problems as well. I feel that I've reached the limit of what's possible with the quick selection tool, and in some circumstances that might lead you to believe that you need to give up and choose a different tool starting over with your selection, but that's not the case. I can choose another selection tool and use that tool for modifying my existing selection. For example, in this case, I really need to sort of trace along the edge, so I'll use the regular lasso tool. When I need to add areas to the selection, such as part of the mirror here, I'll hold the shift key to add to selection, and I'll trace along the edge of the mirror going back into the original image. When I need to subtract from an area of the image, for example, this portion of the pavement in between the mirror and the edge of the car, I can hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Macintosh and once again trace along that edge and then loop back around to my original starting point and that helps to clean up the selection. I can continue mixing and matching any of the selection tools I'd like in the process of creating my final selection. By mixing and matching various selection tools and techniques, you're able to choose the best tool for a given job. And, in fact, you're able to choose the best tool for each of perhaps several different stages of a given job. The key is to keep in mind that you can use various tools in conjunction with each other as you work your way toward a perfect selection.